What's up YouTube? Jeep and Bubba here and today we're doing an unboxing and installing of a mile marker mission 12k winch with synthetic line. So I have had another winch in here for three years or so and I've kind of beat on it pretty good and the timing was perfect because we are partnering up with mile marker to put this winch in. I love trying out new products I haven't tried so that I can give you guys honest feedback and reviews. And I really thought it was a good idea to step up to the 12K, uh, seeing as we're doing a good bit of recoveries while we're on the trail, doing uh, trail guiding and different levels of trails, whether we're at Windrock or we're just out here in North Georgia. Um, you never know when you're gonna need uh, something like a 12K. So this is, the, this is stepping up a little bit from what I had before at the 10K level. What's really, really cool about Mom Marker as a brand they are one of the main providers to the U.S. military for winches. So what's cool is this winch is made military spec. Um, it's waterproof. It's got a military grade drum. So this is a really, really great product. Um, these guys headquartered out of Pompano Beach, Florida. So they're basically our neighbors. Let's hop right into it though um, and open this thing up. Love the box right off the bat. Now, I have had a mile marker winch before, but I had a 9500 Scout Synthetic on my TJ. I've never run the Mission Series, and what's cool about the Mission Series is you can customize it. Um, I just went with black on this particular one, but you can get it in camo, blue, red, all sorts of colors. You can powder coat it if you like. There's all kind of options for you. So right off the bat, there's our remote. I'll show you that closer. You get instructions, an aluminum fairly, which you'll need with synthetic. And honestly, this is a lot better than what I had on there before. This is a great looking uh, Hoss Fairlead. Some of the ones that, that you get from the factories, they just don't look that great. So I uh, like the look of that. And I run a light um, on my Hoss Fairlead, so uh, I'll be doing that as well. Comes with all your wiring that you're gonna need. Looks like it's already wired up pretty well in the back. Some of these companies have you do all the wiring yourself, uh, as well as they have you spool the line, which I can tell you, it looks spooled up. Comes with a hook, and that thing looks beefy. It's got a cool mile marker tag. I'm gonna be doing something different than this. I'll show you that shortly. You've got all your hardware, bolts, and let's pull this bad boy out. All right, there it is. So pretty sleek design. Love the asymmetrical look. And like I said, you can get these parts from a mile marker in whatever color that you like. But I like the black look. It's nice and clean. Um, it's simple. And I like that to it. You've got, uh, it's right now engaged. Looks like you can flip it forward to go with the free spool if you want to let your line out. Your line's already on there. So this being a 12K winch, it's got 3 8 um, synthetic rope on it and it's got I believe it's 92 feet or 93 feet of rope which is six or seven feet more than what I had previously and when it comes down to it a little bit longer is going to be helpful um, our wiring in the back looks pretty good because it's waterproof most oh man because it's waterproof most waterproof winches will have the wiring already done because it's going in to the controller here and then there's some back here it looks like all we have to do is run a ground and a power and we don't have to spool any line and that's what I like now you've got a standard four bolt pattern on the bottom okay that's pretty cool looks like these all right that's probably my favorite thing I've seen on the winch so far so a lot of winches have you slide in a nut right here in like a D window. These are already threaded on the bottom. What happens a lot when I'm installing these winches is that the nut will slide out of the slot and like you're three bolts in and you're like, crap, I gotta install it just to, to get that other one back in there. So that's really cool. Uh, looks like there's already Loctite in there. So that's gonna make this installation really, really fast. Uh, I'm going to a cab fat bumper. It's already got the uh, the cutout for our Hoss Fairlead. It's got the standard four bolts in the bottom. So um, let's go ahead and get it set in place. And we'll go from there. 
All right, this is your hardware. You're just going to feed it up to the bottom. You can see you got some washers in there, all that good stuff. And then these black ones are going to be your Fairlead bolts. So those are some Allens. Pretty easy install. I'm not going to show you all that, but we're going to throw them in real quick. All right, your ground goes right below that red one right there, and you're going to want to install it before you bolt the winch down. We didn't do that because we like things, doing things the hard way. Thankfully, I got Jackson who is knocking it out. Doesn't mind at all. All right, here's our fair lead, which I think looks great. You're going to feed your line through it like that, and then use the provided hardware to bolt it onto your bumper. And then I've got a winch fairly light bracket that's an optional thing you can pick those up you know amazon i think jcr road makes some uh calf fab makes some um so gonna bolt that on all right we got it installed with the lights on there again that's optional by the way they do sell options to mount a gopro on this um that'd be pretty slick now we're doing the winch shackle mount now this is something you can buy from mile marker and you just throw your assembly lube on here. It replaces the uh, the hook. And what's great about this is you're going to be doing closed winching. So you're not having to worry about potentially bending a hook at some point, which could potentially be dangerous. So what you do is you pick out, excuse me, let me get the camera right. You get the right rubber piece to slide in. We'll do that real quick. All right, got it fed in there. Assembly lube's on. Now we're going to push it down through. It says wait about 20 minutes before you tighten it all the way up against your fair lead, so follow that for sure. Also, you're going to want to stretch out your line before you use it the first time on the trail. So, what you want to do is pull all your line out till there's about 10, uh, 10 wrappings left on the winch. Hook it up to about 500 pounds and pull it in, wrap it up nice and slow. That way, the first time you use it, you're not tightening it on looser line and potentially damaging the rope all right that's it really a clean look i'm loving the way it looks how sleek the hoss fairly looks how sleek the winch looks decided to get it on the trail and give it a try and uh just so you know this right here is where you hook up your um if you have a wired controller i think they do wireless as well but if you have a wired it goes in right there easy operation just in and out right there and you've got your disengage or free spool or excuse me engaged or free spool right there it moves operates easy it's nice and solid um so pretty easy i'm going to definitely disconnect excuse me tighten this up here shortly and um disconnect that put it in a place where i'll remember it and i like how this is nice and thick and covers that connector up but Honestly, if you've already got your bumper installed, I think you can get this installed in about an hour. Shouldn't be a problem. Great looking winch, and I'll follow up um, next time we're on a trail and using it. Well, that's it for us. This is Jeep and Bubba here at Black Bear Off-Road. We got the mile marker Mission 12K winch installed on Blue Jeep. We're going to take it off-road and, again, follow up with you in a few months to show you how you like it. But first, uh, looking at it, unboxing it. It's one of my favorite looking winches uh, I've seen to date, and I can't wait to try it on the trail. We'll see you. Each Prince.